Hi, I'm Jessica Kill from SMTK 24-7, and today we're joined by iconic actor Malcolm McDowell, whose legendary film roles have uh, spurred our imaginations and really made us think. You know, the movie that you just finished on that I just saw was Pound of Flesh, and yep. very provocative, uh, you know, again, another sort of thought-provoking film uh, in regards to prostitution and kind mm -hmm. of sex and the morality of it. Um, maybe you could just tell us a little bit about the film well, and your character. Yeah, I mean, it's basically, uh, um, I play this uh, professor of English literature at a um, university here in L.A., who to help his students, his female students, pay their way through college and pay for their, you know, education, uh, sets up a uh, escort service, which is, I suppose, you know, turns them into prostitutes. But um, uh, here, there's, there's two sides to everything. Mm -hmm. uh, from Noah Melville's point of view, it's like um, you're a beautiful girl. Listen, you're going to have affairs at college, right? Wouldn't you like to pay your way through college and have affairs with people who are going to treat you really well because they're rich and they're going to take you to really nice places and treat you with respect and you're going to have a lot of fun doing it and you're going to pay your, you know. So from that point of view, of course, you're thinking, wow. And then you're also thinking, and, and not only that, I'm taking a certain emphasis off the state because, uh, you know, these rich old guys are paying for it and we're not, we're not asking the state to loan the money to the kids, right? Mm -hmm. That's one side of it. The other side, of course, is the moral question is, how dare you educators turn our children into whores? Right. And, you know, there is, there is the, um, you know, that, that's the ponderable. And, um, but the thing is, I think that the film is really about the hypocrisy of, of the society in which we live is that, you know, it's really not that big of a deal, really, in terms of life and death. And, um, you know, nobody's press ganging these girls to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do it? The, no, fine. Um, but also the um, authorities take such a moral stance. Right. And as you know, as, uh, that every time you see these politicians making a moral stance, you know they've got ten mistresses and they're doing God knows what in some bathroom in an airport. You know, so you're going, um, I think that's worth pointing out that... Um, Sometimes the people with the, uh, on the highest horses are the ones that have the... The ones that the shout fall. the most right. are usually the ones that have... I'm not saying all, of course, we're, we're generalizing, but I think it's a mistake to sort of get on your high horse about anything like that. I don't think, you know, one can judge behavior like that, you know, without finding out what's what. Anyway, the, the thing is that Melville, actually the, the real guy, was um, sent to jail for 20 years. Because that was based on a true story. Based, loosely. Loosely, yeah. okay. Yeah, it, just the whole idea. It wasn't the character or anything. But I didn't see where where it took place. Was did it take place in California? Like I think so because yeah. you saw shots of the mountains. And right. Um, well, I love the opening line of the film. It's the only job where a woman can get paid more than a man, it's and that so true. And that the uh, the idea that it's actually illegal because men can't make money doing it. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. <coughs> well, that's a good point, isn't it? It's a very interesting point, and it's um, boy. If they could tax it, um, ah, now you're talking. This is SMTK. I'm Malcolm McDowell, and believe you me, you don't know enough.